Hello and thank you for joining me, Astrologer Patrick Arundel, for your in-depth monthly horoscope for December. Now, if you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please also check out my Year 2021 Special Offer Personal Horoscope Package. You can get the whole of Year 21 and also uh, the rest of Year 2020 if you order this year. Plus, you can get your character analysis, all based on your time, date and place of birth. This is going to give you searing insights. No two reports are the same. It's totally based on you, the individual. So please check that out beneath this video and there is 30% off at this time. Hello Pisces and welcome to your December 2020 forecast. The month begins with the lunar eclipse which occurred on the last day of November cascading its powerful energy into your situation for the first two weeks. That occurred in your sector of emotions. If you have been thinking about moving to somewhere bigger and better or downsizing, if you're thinking more in terms of being more economical about your space and perhaps using your resources more uh, effectively, then this could be something that's really on your mind. But you know, with the sun high in the sky in the 10th house joined by Mercury on the first day, I do feel your role in life, status, which might not be something that you're particularly welded to, but your work, uh, how people perceive you, your role in your community, your leadership role in your family or within your work or your uh, adherence to the, the uh, more conventional way of doing things. All these things are going to come under the astral microscope. But of course you do have Mars in the second solar house which is about your need for a bit of luxury. And of course Mars has been tracking backwards going forwards now does come back into conflict with Pluto the last two weeks of this month. There could be a, a dilemma that comes up for you later this month. It could see you enriching yourself in a positive way. But if you are tempted to take a shortcut to make more money and go against your personal values, go careful. Because Mars and Pluto in a square can see us acting against what's really, truly, karmically best for us. So don't go for the main chance. Um, but in week two of this month, the sun high in the sky links brilliantly with Mars. So if you are really wanting to bounce back from the loss of a job through COVID or an adaptation of, of how you've been able to trade your skills or you want to reapply yourself in a different environment or you want to receive greater recognition for your own business, do you know, something really significant come for, can come for you. And not just in the last two weeks of this year, but also in the first five and a half months of next year. So think very positively, manifest, even if you're a very spiritual person, it doesn't like to have too much truck with the material world. Don't underestimate that because it's all a currency of exchange. And if you do better financially, you can choose to give it because you can be uh, so kindly to those who are less well off or animal charities or anything to do with disaster charities stuff like this you can be enormously compassionate so if you make more dosh money you can recycle that to the causes that really matter but you've got a chance to raise your profile feel much better about yourself because the solar eclipse which occurs on the 14th and links into mars is really going to supercharge you over these next six months. It's that good. Over the last few years, it seems to have been a battle between what you'd really like to be doing, your creativity. Are you really doing what uh, makes your heart soar? I think those are the questions you've been asked. Um, it's been a bit of a conflict time for you. A lot of friendships may have gone. You may have been a bit dislocated about what your real life purpose is. I think you... you can get your mojo back, particularly in the material world, but I do feel a more spiritual dimension is emerging into your situation, which is going to take hold, but it's all there anyway within you, so it can just reactivate your latent potential in that regard. Now, of course, that comes in the guise of your ruler Jupiter moving into the sign of Aquarius on the 19th and Saturn moving there on the 17th. They come together on the 21st, the winter solstice, and for you, this is the 12th house. It really depends on where 
your sun is and other personal planets in Pisces of how much influence this will have. For, for example, immediately, if you're born right at the start of Pisces, you, you get a sextile, which, uh, sorry, a semi-sextile, which could be very enabling and very helpful. Saturn is about structure. Jupiter is about compassion in terms of your rulership. In terms of the sign of uh, Sagittarius, it's very much about worldly travel, uh, tourism, knowledge, higher education, having chats about all sorts of things, big topics. These kind of things are really going to grab you this month for sure. Uh, but especially from the 15th when Venus moves into Sagittarius. Before then, for two weeks, if you can find a window of opportunity to get away um, within the COVID rules, wherever you're located, you may want to take it. But I do feel from the 15th, Venus climbs to the top of your chart too. Your natural charm and ability to cultivate goodwill from influential people is really helped by that. Saturn and Jupiter in the 12th house for you. Let's explore this. So because you're the 12th zodiac sign and because Jupiter is your ruler and because Jupiter is also going to move into your sign in mid-May for two and a half months, for 10 weeks, even though it's retrograde for much of that time, and it only gets to about one degree in your sign. But Jupiter is something you have a real uh, simpatico and understanding of. So in the 12th house there, it could see you thinking, I feel, about working in an environment which sees you helping others. Because I do feel that the Sagittarian energy of December is very businesslike. It is about the money. It is about the status. It may be about a new and improved property. It just depends on your personal situation. But then, of course, on the 21st, we also have the winter solstice and the sun and Mercury move into the sign of Capricorn. So that's very much about the future. For you, getting together, if it's possible, with good friends and family is really what you love at that time of year. COVID could restrict it, of course, but there is a great link between Mercury and Uranus in your sector of ideas. And the Sun and Uranus, just after that, uh, the Mercury-Uranus connections on Christmas Day. Something electric. <laughs> it might seem an obvious thing to say that very many of us get gadgets at Christmas given to us uh, or give to people. Um, but something's going to happen around the conversation about you manifesting your long-term future in a different, fresher way but you can still see how it might work financially. I, that's my prediction for you. Around Christmas, there's going to be conversations, whether it's face-to-face -face with people you're gathered with, if you're lucky, or it is through Skype or Zoom or whatever. There is going to be some new radical thinking coming through. But as we come to the end of the year, the full moon in Cancer. This is normal. This happens every year. It's not um, linked to the eclipse series because the eclipse isn't there anymore it's moved obviously backwards it's ingressed backwards into Sagittarius and Gemini so I feel this eclipse it is the potential for you to think about romance about the people you really love because the north node does retain its role in Gemini through to the end of the year you could feel quite sentimental if you, you know, it's just such an obvious thing to say. If we're not with loved ones, we're going to feel sentimental. But I feel you're going to feel particularly poignantly about anyone who's not there. Um, and if there has been a separation in your life with someone that you used to be very close to, maybe it's time to try and find a way around that. One of the things with Jupiter in the 12th house is letting go letting go of old grudges or old disappointments, coming to terms with the fact that as humans, we're all fatally flawed in some way or another, um, and we get it wrong. And even if we get it right for 99 out of 100 people, someone comes along in our life who just doesn't get us, we don't get them, and it can be, you know, really difficult for both parties. So I feel that if you do have an, a, a, an opportunity to bring some healing to yourself, perhaps around a, an, an old love tie, perhaps around something that used to be very uh, dominant in your life in terms of your creative activities. Um, 
come to terms with the things that are no longer serving your greater purpose because you are changing. Not only are you wanting to see a physical uh, improvement in your security, you're also wanting to embrace the spiritual at the same time. There really is a dichotomy to your chart as this year comes to a close. But if anyone can deal with that, it's yourself because you've got fish swimming in two directions. You can be very cool, objective and detached at times, I've noticed with Pisces people, and also fabulously uh, self-sacrificing and kind and oh, just so, so warm. But there is a duality that goes on. So you, you could find yourself trying to sort that duality out, I think, especially with Jupiter in the 12th, along with Saturn. And if there is a part of you that can sort of stare up from the bottom of the stream with one stony eye you know the trout looking up at the fisherman thinking you ain't gonna get me mate i'm gonna swim under that rock which is obviously right because you're prever preserving your existence but are you staying detached from a situation just because you're sort of like holding on to something think about it anyway because you can let go and saturn in the 12th house over the next couple of years is going to give you a bit of a crash course in anything in your psyche that's outstanding, that's not resolved, that's not at peace. So trying to find peace, but trying to find success is where you are for this month. Stay safe. I do hope you can get together with those loved ones. It's been a real pleasure being with you and all the best. Take care and good luck.